The D14 bridge from Mod Armory has quickly become one of my go-to bridges anytime I want to run dual PVS-14s or a thermal with a PVS-14. And in today's video, what I want to do is show you how you can set up two PVS-14s on this particular bridge. I'm also going to show you how I'll take my MH25, get it set up with the dovetail adapter, and then mount it into this particular bridge. So diving right into it, the Mod Armory bridge is going to come with a couple different things. You're going to see that it has the main body here, which has a mil-spec dovetail. This is gonna work with any of your standard mounts like the Wilcox G24, low stow mount from the Rotos, or the Photonis breakaway mount. You're also going to get a PVS-14 arm. They're labeled on the front. This one is the left arm. So that would go on obviously the left side over here and then you have a PVS-14 right arm. So when you install those arms, this is what it looks like. There's quick disconnect buttons on the front of this mount. You can just pop them right out. And that's one of my favorite features of the D14, besides the fact that it is an all aluminum machined bridge. The fact that it has quick attach dovetail mounts means you have maximum versatility. Then another set of accessories that you can purchase separately is this little dovetail mount mini rail adapter for the MH25. And this is a separate accessory that you would have to purchase. And if you don't have an MH25, you don't need this particular accessory. But if you are looking to run the MH25, you do need that particular accessory. One caveat as well, and we'll talk about it a little bit more with the MH25, is you should also get the PVS-14 eyepiece for your MH25, we talk about installing that in a separate video. You can find that on the MH25 product page on our website. We'll put the link down in the description. When we come to the point when we are looking to install the PVS-14 arms, it's super easy. There's no tools required at all. So I'm going to take my first PVS-14, and let's say I'm putting this one on my left eye. I'm going to look at the front. They have them laser etched left and right and I am simply going to line it up on the screw, use the thumb screw there, make sure I have that nice and snug. I'm not going to over tighten it, but as you can see, I've now installed that dovetail arm onto the PVS-14. Really, the only thing you have to make sure you're paying attention to is that you have the PVS-14 oriented properly and you have the right side of the dovetail mounts going onto that particular unit. I know this is the left-handed one, it says left, I've got it installed, clip it into the unit. And then I'll take the other PVS-14. This one is going to go over my right eye. Again, line up the arm, simply tighten that little thumb screw in and you don't have to go crazy, don't over tighten it. Now I'll just simply slide that guy into place. And guys, it's that simple. Now you have an articulating bridge setup with two PVS-14s and because this is a mil-spec dovetail, you could use any mount like the Wilcox G24, clip it into place, mount that into your helmet, and now you essentially have a set of binos for your bridge made out of two PVS-14s. That is a viable option. There are some downsides to running dual PVS-14s, but that's another topic for another day. So now at this point, if you're looking at taking your MH25 and you would like to mount that instead of another PVS-14, which this is actually my preferred method of running a bridged unit. You will simply take this little dovetail adapter. They come in the box already pre-assembled. So it's going to look similar to this in the box. That little dovetail is going to be screwed in right like that. I simply take the center Allen screw out. Just be careful, try not to lose it. I almost dropped it there. Now the cool thing is if you want to have the MH25 over your left eye, or your right eye, at this point you're able to change the orientation of this particular receiver. I want it over my right eye, so I'm gonna make sure that as I slide it over the rail section in the middle, the actual portion where that dovetail is gonna mount is off to the right side of the unit. Now you could change that based on the distance between your eyes, and there are other accessories that Mod Armory also offers to offer more adjustment. Our team has found that this dovetail adapter is actually the best, most versatile mount to date that we know of from Mod Armory in order to achieve a true bridge setup with a PBS-14 and a thermal. So now at this point, I've just lightly tightened that center set screw in the center of that mini rail. 
I'm just going to lay the dovetail in place. Just be careful not to lose that little Allen screw. And then I'm just going to screw that in with the included Allen wrench. And again, I'm not going crazy with this, just make it nice and snug. And now I have my MH25 connected via the Mod Armory Bridge to a PVS-14. So what you just saw in less than five minutes, I have switched, installed, done all of the different changes that you'd wanna to do to the Mod Armory Bridge. And you can run either the dual PVS-14s or a thermal and a PVS-14, or even if you don't have a PVS-14 yet, but you really like the bridge, you could run a single thermal monocular like the MH25 off of this as well. So as you guys saw, it was super easy to mount the thermal, the PVS-14s together. It took only a couple minutes. Doesn't take any tools until you get to the MH25 adapter, then you do need to use the included Allen key sets, but it's super easy. Doesn't take very long. It's not difficult. Even if you're not very mechanically inclined, you will be able to do this as long as you take your time, you pay attention, and you don't lose any of the small screws. But one of the functions that I really like about that offset dovetail adapter for the MH25 is it actually pushes the MH25 out far enough that you don't really need to angle it for the adjustment. So for most folks, you'll be able to run the MH25 perfectly vertical. And that's important because the screen that is inside of the MH25 is a rectangle. It's not a circle. When you look through a PBS-14, it's a perfect circle. So if you have to adjust the units and tilt them, it doesn't really matter. You're still looking through a circle. When you're looking through that rectangle, the MH25, if your eyes are wider like mine are, you ultimately have to adjust that a little bit out to the side. And with some of the other bridges that I've seen on the market, it positions the MH25 perfectly below the pivot point. So you have to really exaggerate that pivot and then you're ending up looking through a rectangle that's leaning sideways and it's sort of disorienting. When you have the proper bridge set up, you can run a PVS-14 and an MH25 together and for many people, you'll be able to run these simultaneously and your brain will overlay that rectangle and that circle together. So that's the main reason why we've fallen in love with the Mod Armory Bridge. It's a solid option. We have it on our website. We're gonna put a link down in the description. If you guys are looking for a bridge like this, I couldn't recommend this bridge enough. It's got the versatility, durability, and ease of use under lock and key. So guys, hit that link in the description. Check out our website. We've got tons of other night vision optics and accessories. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, leave us a comment below. Give us a like, thumbs up, wherever you're at. Please share this video with some friends and family who are into night vision. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button. Guys, we appreciate you. See you in the next one.